There are about 2,000 islands off the coast of Queensland, but only one is connected to the mainland by a bridge. Bribie Island is a magnificent sand island off the east coast of Australia, just north of Brisbane. It's 34 kilometres long and eight kilometres wide. Its white sandy beaches are ideal for swimming, surfing, boating and fishing. But that's not the reason for my visit. I'm here to speak to an amazing individual, the butterfly man of Bribie Island, Ray Archer. I was in fairly fast moving business, under the hammer, a lot of stress, nearly falling off the perch more than once with stress, and decided it was time to retire and come to Bribie Island and start to work a little bit with butterflies. Needing a bit more peace in my life, I just found that butterflies are fantastic. They don't yell at you or growl at you or pee on you or poo on you or bite you. They are just so peaceful. Here in the butterfly house, there are around a thousand butterflies, all kinds. There are the Cairns birdwing and the common crows and the lemon migrants and all sorts of butterflies. But the one that the people love most of all is the one butterfly that likes to sit on people and that's the common or varied egg fly. Everybody loves that butterfly and I certainly do too. The butterfly life cycle starts with the egg and then the next comes the caterpillar, the chrysalis and the beautiful butterfly. Butterflies lay their eggs on suitable plants that the little caterpillars when they come out will be able to eat the leaves and then the little caterpillar comes out, chews its way out, that's its first feed of protein and to get out into this big world then it starts eating the leaves and then it grows and grows, sheds its skin a number of times, gets too big for its clothes, too big for its boots. That happens about four times. And then the next thing that happens finally, the unbelievable miracle of metamorphosis occurs where it changes from a caterpillar, a lowly caterpillar, into a beautiful chrysalis, and then finally into a butterfly again. I come in to work with the volunteers and we've got a wonderful team of volunteers here. Uh, looking after the butterflies, they're precious little creatures and we want to care for them all the way and uh, get them into the butterfly house so they can fly and just have a ball just flying around. They live a lot longer in the butterfly house than they do outside because there are so many things out there, so many predators to take them away, birds and rats and mice and, and uh, parasitic flies and wasps. I've been working with butterflies for about 10 years so I try to impart a little bit of knowledge but we're all learning from each other too. We're all volunteers, nobody's paid. We raise money for charities. And uh, there's an old saying, if you treat everybody as though they're hurting, you're treating nearly everyone the right way. And so we have a huge number of visitors who come in here just to get some nature therapy. So it's a, it's a great place to be. And we feel really blessed being able to help folk, um, you know, just get through life because Life's got its ups and downs, that's for sure, these days, hasn't it? It's pretty easy to see why Ray loves butterflies so much. Butterflies are simply spectacular. They're loved and adored by virtually every person on this planet. They're among the most spectacular and beautiful creatures in all the world. One of the most famous species of butterfly in the world, the monarch butterfly, live here in the Bribie Island Butterfly House. Our planet needs these beautiful creatures, not just because of their beauty and endurance, but also for the message they and all butterflies carry. You see, something truly remarkable takes place right here in this butterfly chrysalis that is beyond imagination, defies logic, and dismantles one of modern man's most renowned theories. What happens inside this chrysalis is one of the great mysteries of the natural world. The great change or metamorphosis that takes place inside a chrysalis as a caterpillar changes into a butterfly defies the theory of evolution, one of modern man's most renowned theories. The caterpillar not only changes form, but actually dissolves before rebuilding into the structure of a butterfly, a new life form. From the same DNA arises a completely different organism. In fact, the metamorphosis of the butterfly 
uses the same DNA in all four life cycles, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. This contradicts the theory of evolution, which relies on DNA mutation plus natural selection to bring about change. There is simply no plausible evolutionary explanation for the butterfly metamorphosis. It's a biological miracle. The incredible change from caterpillar to the adult winged butterfly defies evolution and provides fascinating evidence of design. In fact, the whole butterfly life cycle, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly, shows exquisite design. None of the stages of the caterpillar butterfly development occur by chance, which is the central pillar of the theory of evolution. A monarch butterfly egg will develop through the cycle egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and always become a monarch butterfly, always. There is nothing left to chance. Rather, the facts show that a master designer programmed every stage of the caterpillar butterfly life cycle. There's planning, foresight, artistry and engineering. It's the handiwork of an intelligence that transcends the natural world. The best evidence for the origin of butterflies in all their beauty is found on the very first page of the Bible. In the beginning, God created every winged flying creature after its kind, and God saw that it was good. And that's the message these wonderful fluttering butterflies bring to the billions of people on planet Earth. If you'd like to know more about the butterfly's message and the great designer who made them, then I'd like to recommend the free gift we have for you today. It's the booklet, The Fingerprints of God. This booklet is our gift to you and is absolutely free. Here's the information you need.